Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Williams Learning Lab. Today, we are going to do the Bohr model of helium. Let's do a quick review. When we do a Bohr model, we are going to draw the nucleus, which I have here in red, and then we are going to state how many protons and neutrons are in the nucleus. So we have our protons equals a certain number, our neutrons equals a certain number. Then the electrons are going to be put into different orbitals. Okay, so this works for up to four orbitals. Our first orbital can hold a maximum of two electrons, which I have here in orange. Our second orbital can hold a maximum of eight electrons, which I have in green. Our third orbital can hold up to eight electrons, and I have this in blue. And the fourth orbital, um, it will work up to two electrons, okay? So we do need a periodic table to be able to do a Bohr model. And right, this is the information that we would have in periodic table. And talk number two, atomic mass unit of 4.002. So our atomic number will tell us the number of protons. It'll also tell us the number of our electrons. So we have two of those. To determine our neutrons, we'll take four We'll round it up to a whole number. Four minus two, which also gives us two. So I'm going to draw a nucleus here. And in our nucleus, we'll have two protons. And we'll have two neutrons. Now, we have to draw a shell or an orbital, and we're going to have to fill it up with electrons. And so we have two electrons. Well, our first orbital can have a maximum of two. And this first orbital, these electrons will pair. All right, there you have it. This is the Bohr model of hydrogen, and until next time, keep on learning.